Hello everyone and welcome back to Rome 2. So my current plan, the only thing left to do this turn I think, is to move the Elephant Powerhouse onward towards the capital for the Arminians. And our public order here in this province should be okay. It's at a minus 10. It's probably going to drop maybe by another 10 if I leave the province with this army, but yeah, there we go. But the thing is that it's at minus 20 right now because of the conquest, and so that should drop off next turn. So it's not going to be a huge public order penalty. I just want to get here as fast as possible before they can get another army up, and then I want to crush them. So I'm hoping I, should, I think I can be able to make, should be able to make it there next turn. And I don't think there's anything else this turn to do. Let me check on my spy. She's still in a good spot, just watching Jerusalem to see if any Egyptians come up. So I'll keep her there. I can't move that. Okay. So we take out the Armenians, and then I think I focus... Well... Hmm. I have a mission to, to take out Jerusalem, right? I'll have to double check that. The thing is, since I just played as the Seleucids in another game a few days ago, now it's kind of blending in with each other. I think that was this campaign. Your people are wounded by this war. Now is the chance to end the struggle. Take it or suffer more. They offer 2200, I will accept it. And my client states should also have peace with them as well. And I get some money out of this. So now I'm just concerned about roads. And now a giant Persian army on my border. Well, on my client state's borders. Yep. Yep. And she leveled up. Let's go through manipulation. That was working out for me a lot in the last... In the Roman campaign. Hmm. 495... How much money do I have? That's a lot. Let's give that a try. Two spies are better than one. Come on, or at least stop them. Yes! Boom! Our first converts. Welcome. Alright, so before we do anything else, I think I want to go up here. So they have recruited a general, but nothing else. There we go. It's probably not going to be easy, because they still have a garrison. Yeah. And their garrison is mostly hillmen. They actually have me beat on hillmen. My general is a rural pelta, so I do have a levy pikemen. I also have a horse archer. We should still be able to do this. At least they only have horse archers, so we won't come under fire when we approach the wall, unless it's from a tower. Although I guess the horse archers could fire over the wall. I guess they can do, do that. Oh, I guess. If they want to be punks about it. Hmm. I suppose. Yeah, sure. We'll do, we'll do fog. Okay. So yeah, I think this is a good spot to attack. We'll burn down the wall, or the gates, and assault the walls at the same time. Unless there's a better spot. We could assault here, and there's only one tower to contend with instead of the two. Uh, maybe actually that would be better. Because I don't really need to go in through the gates. Hmm. It's just faster. Well, I do need to get my cab in there too. Hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? What are the orders? We shouldn't have too much damage and from the towers there. I hope. Ready. We are at your command. We await your orders. Okay, yeah. Line up like that. That's fine. Have the pikemen back here. Yeah, 
Royal Peltas. Although the Mac Macedonian Peltas look a lot better. A lot better. Yeah, we'll go over here. Pause. Because I'm sure we're in range of the towers, so let me just get this set up here. Boom. Boom. There we go. Royal Peltasts! At speed! Orders! Okay. Yeah, if you want to fire on these guys, it's okay, I guess. Well, I should move them over here, really. Oh, hold on, hold on. I don't want to disrupt the siege tower, guys. I'm not sure if they can throw faster if they're not on top of each other, but I'm going to move them. Let's move these guys in here. Forward, awaiting orders. Javelin man. Ready. Aye. Your orders. My lord. Ready. Strategos. That is burning, and there's no one on the gates. Get the ready. So we should be able to move these guys up here and then start taking the towers. So maybe they're all held up, or yeah, in the center. Maybe that's where they're at. Quick march! Advance at speed! We are at your command! There we go. Where are your orders? Melee infantry! Hillmen! Orders! Stay alert! Our orders! General! Okay, so be down soon. What are your orders? And there they are. This would be great if we can fight them right here in range of their own towers. Quick march. I forgot these guys have frenzy charge. Spearman ready for orders. Kind of surprised their horse skirmishers haven't engaged just yet. I'm not complaining though. And now the gatehouse is ours, so we can just walk through. Now it's kind of awkward because this gate's on fire. Oh, well, we'll just wait for that to destroy. There we go. Awaiting orders. At the double. Spearman. Quick march! Our orders! Advance at speed! Hillmen! At speed! At ready! Quick march! We are at your command! We are at your command! And frenzy charge! Ready! We await your orders! Ready and waiting! Advance at speed! Dublin man! Get in there. Let's make that tower neutral. Orders are 
Let's set up the pikes. And that's almost down. General! Light cavalry! That is neutral. Ah, oh, and they're falling back. You know what, let's just have them move over here and take this gate then too. Probably be moving some of these guys over there. Let's use the whip. Need to reinforce that light cav. Let's actually get our skirmishers over here. Oh no, that stopped them! Oh, you fools. Ah. I haven't actually captured this gate yet, because I need a unit that's on the ground. Put these guys in the square. Crushing through there. Pull those guys back. Support there. There we go, we got some slinger fire going in. These guys have almost been crushed. Cav is losing that, but I just need him to hold for a little while longer. Alright, helmet. You guys have been crushed. Let's 
Let's move up the pikes. Move these guys up. They got their general. And pull back our light calf. Understood. Now this should keep them... The hillmen should keep them uh, busy. And now our javelin men have a good line of fire here. So do precise shots. You will inspire these hillmen. And the pikes, I want to get on this side right here. Kind of going through. There we go, we got the general. I'll let these guys rest. Now let's shoot some javelins into those hillmen. War cry. These guys are still holding very nicely. Precise shot. Those guys are getting a little low, but... Mm. Yeah, let's pull these guys back. Because I don't want these units to be destroyed at the end of the combat. So pull back. You guys are now going to be out of the fight forever. Now fire into the sides of those guys. This guy's getting pretty low too. But with the javelins and the slingers going in, this should be changing here shortly. And here come their horse guys. And then will be blockers. Let's move up the pikes. Pike formation. Alright, slingers are now repositioned over here, and I'm going to focus our range on their skirmishers. Although now they backed off, so... Okay. Slingers are so focused on them, though. Someone should still be okay to fight. Inspire them. All right, our slingers are doing some de decent damage. Oh, they're, go they're going after our pikesmen, our pikemen, <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Those guys are just fine sitting there. Forty-one is still okay. Javelins are almost out of ammo. As are the slingers. When they're done, okay, we will now pull them back, and I'm going to have our general smash it to the side since they're a peltos unit. Their attack should be pretty high. Yeah, 55. Like, that's... They're fine. I'm gonna move back. Oh, no, they routed. Darn it. Slingers are still firing. Pull back. Darn it. Well, hopefully they're not gone for good. Oh wow, totally didn't even see these guys. Whoops. 
Skirmisher's down to 29. Now we just engage. This thing is still firing. Their horse archers engaged. Inspire themselves. Alright, go into the spearmen. The summoners are still fighting. Advance. Back up. Our pikes will take it from here. These guys will come over here to get behind the hillmen. That should shatter them. Use the whip and inspire themselves. Looking at a 69 attack, 91 melee defense. Yeah, I'm sure they can. Take out these noble spears. Let's try and work around behind. Frenzy charge. Frenzy charge. There we go. Oh man, toss that dude with the shield. And there they go. They still managed to kill a thousand of us. Those horse archers got 105 kills. Hmm. Wow, our Royal Peltas got 254. Yeah, those javelins, 282. Nice. Nice. Ah, oh, through the neck. All up in the neck. Boom. And their faction is done. Let that be a warning to anyone else. That we don't take shit from no one. <laughs> Alright, make that a farmland. We'll make this a consecrated ground. And an Agora. Do that. Okay. I would like a military building here though as well i guess in our next growth i'll make a military building or, well you know what no, no 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 let's cancel the agora and we'll make that a mustard field instead there we go mm. right that in industry building right there the kiln i think that has a bonus for agriculture Things. Yep, 10% wealth from agriculture. 
and then also gives public oh minus four public order then also eventually leads to a 20% boost in agriculture, 40% boost in commerce. Mm. Yeah, let's grab that. Okay. Now you have to deal with the Media Atropatene. Maybe it's called Medea. I still don't know. So we'll probably focus on those guys with these two armies soon-ish. Till then, let's look at our new neighbors here. Alright, so these guys like us, even though they're far eastern. Probably because we share a war. My master extends the most magnificent welcome to you and your honorable people. Can what I not trade with you? Do you bring? Looks like we should have a land route. Straight to their city. They're not a what the heck? Okay. Never mind. A sea route from their capital can up oh, so they are up here then? Okay, the Cartley do not like us, they are far eastern. These guys are also... Man, those are Far Eastern. Trapezos. These three like each other. They don't like me much. I really want that to change. Greetings, my friend. You have my ear for your speech. And if it profits my people, agree. Hmm. Gosh, they hate us. It's not my fault the Arminians attacked me. Hmm. We're probably not going to be able to become friends. Okay. That is too bad. Too bad indeed. I'm going to go with a general... And uh, yeah, soldier charge bonus on the units that have frenzy charge. That seems okay. These guys, and now we need to replenish all of our numbers. And maybe even get more eastern spearmen. Ready for orders. I need something else. That's going to be three turns before we can do that. I would like to get more hillmen. Actually, I like more skirmishers. Hmm. Alright, well, let's recruit down here. Grab one more javelin. And let's try out these loyal swords. Yeah, this is definitely worth it. Another sword. Okay. Let's grab that. Garrison these guys in there. Ready for orders. And I need these guys back on the mainland. I think... I, I did want to take out Rhodes. Mm. Actually, I would, I would want the Sardes to take out Rhodes. So they can get a province to themselves. So I'm going to have to take out that too. Hmm. But I think... My biggest enemy, I mean, it should be Egypt, but they're not really pressing in on me right now. So I think the biggest concern is going to be up here, because Pontus is, could declare on us at any time. And then if Pontus goes, then maybe all of these guys will come against us. I think that's my most pressing concern. Not, not Rhodes. So I'm going to send these guys, I 
think up here. So if these guys declare on us, there's very likely chance they may come down here and try to take a death. Uh, well, we shouldn't be able to reach there that quickly. The quickest target would be Antioch, but Antioch... Oh, actually only has seven units in there, so... Ooh, no, no, no. Maybe we just station in Antioch, and if you go to war, then we just go up the road. That's what we'll do. So many potential enemies. So little time. I hope Sardes can take out roads themselves. I mean, they should be able to. Let's hope. And anything else to do this turn? We got the spy. We don't have the money for that. And Persia is marching in on Medea. Medea. Not sure how you pronounce it. But if they attack the city, they do have 14 and then the unit there plus the garrison of 13. I'd, I'd like to think they can take that. Unless Persia is going for Hatra. Another reason why I'm going to need another army up here. Ooh, what's this? So they're marching against the Kidri? Is that what's going on there? I need to get those guys back. Alright, I don't think there's anything else I should do on this turn, and I think I'm going to end this episode here. So the future plan right now is to knock these guys out, and then I guess that means I'll, I should continue my push against these provinces over here with these two legions. Then this legion will hold here to try and defend against Pontus. Then of course we have the other legion down here that's protecting us against Egypt. I need to build them up more. I'm going to need more. But yeah, so right now, that's the concern. Then I'll go from there. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you all next time. Take care.